My name is Richard Moore and I'd like to welcome you to this Easify training video which covers the Easify Document Management System or DMS for short. In this video I'll be discussing what the DMS is, how you configure the DMS and I'll also show you how it can help you in your day-to-day -day business. If you think document management system sounds complicated, it really isn't. The DMS is simply a way for you to very easily store and retrieve documents related to the work that you are doing. Documents and files, such as letters to clients or photographs that clients have emailed you, or even emails themselves can simply be dragged into Easify, and Easify will automatically store them in the correct location on your hard disk and associate them with their related order, purchase, customer or supplier. This means that all of the documentation relating to an order or a purchase can easily be accessed from within Easify itself simply by opening the customer, order or purchase that the documents are related to. What's more, because Easify stores your documents on your hard disk, you can also easily access the documents as you normally would via Windows, by using Windows Explorer or by directly opening them in an application such as Word, Excel or Outlook. Let's take a look at what the DMS can do in a little more depth. In this example, we have an email that has come in from a client about a new cooker that they would like us to come and install. They've attached a photo of their kitchen showing where the cooker will be situated. Ordinarily, storing pictures in an email inbox as an attachment isn't very useful. They are hard to find and only people with access to the inbox will be able to see the picture. And in fact, if a user doesn't know the picture has been sent, that is, they didn't personally see the email come through, they won't even know that the picture is available. So typically, you would need to be well organised and to save the attached image to a folder where anyone that needs access to it can see it. But even then, you would need to notify other members of staff that the photograph is present. Here's where the Easify DMS makes this process really easy. We already have an order for this customer in Easify that contains the cooker and the installation fee. What we want to do is use the Easify DMS to save the attached picture so that Easify knows where it is. To do this, simply click on the Documents tab of the order and drag the picture from, in this case, Microsoft Outlook into the Documents tab. Note that the picture now appears in the Easify Documents tab for the order. At this point, anyone that has access to this order in Easify will be able to go to the Documents tab and see the picture that the customer sent. As you can see, the Easify DMS makes it really easy to save things like email attachments and easily find them again using Easify. Now this is a really useful feature for work in progress. You can save any kind of file to the DMS and access it directly within Easify. But it's also a great feature for history purposes. By storing your documents using the DMS, it's really simple to look up an old order and be able to see all of the documents relating to the order. I mentioned previously that you can easily store emails in the DMS too. To do this, simply go to the email that you want to save and drag it to the Documents tab in Easify. Here you can see the email has been saved as a file with a .msg extension. Now anyone with access to Easify and that has Outlook installed will be able to open and read the email directly from Easify. This is a really useful feature if you have people with separate email inboxes as it allows them to copy work-related emails to a central shared location where anyone that can access Easify can get to them. You don't only have to save email attachments and emails to the Easify DMS you can save pretty much any kind of file. In this example, we're going to save a copy of an invoice to the DMS as a PDF file. Here you can see we've got our order open in Easify and we've selected the Documents tab. You don't have to select the Documents tab to make this work, it's just easier to demonstrate with the Documents tab open because then you get to see what's happening. From the Print menu, we'll select Invoice. This will open up an invoice for the order. And from the buttons at the top, we're going to click the second button along, Save Invoices to Documents folder as PDF. Notice that in the Documents tab, a new file has appeared. Its file name is Invoice, followed by the auto-generated invoice number 10020.pdf. And if we double-click Invoice 10020.pdf, you can see it opens as a PDF file. Now you may be wondering where these files are being stored. I will cover that in more detail later on in this video, but for now just be aware that anything you save to the DMS is simply stored in a folder on your computer hard disk. Or if you're running Easify over a network, the files will be stored in a folder on the hard disk of a computer on your network. 
As well as being able to save an invoice to the DMS with the click of a button, it is also possible to send the saved invoice via email. To do this, we go to our open order, we select print, invoice from the menu, and when the invoice is opened, we click the third button along, email invoice as Outlook attachment. This creates a new email in Outlook. The email is automatically addressed to the customer's email address as specified in their Easify customer record. The subject line is set to invoice, followed by the invoice number, and as you can see, the PDF copy of the invoice has been attached to the email. All you need to do is fill out the email body and send the email. Notice that the PDF copy of the invoice has been automatically saved to the DMS so that you have a copy of it on record. Now it's worth noting that in addition to saving invoices to the DMS, you can save any of the paperwork that appears in the print menu, i.e. estimates, quotes, invoices, job cards or delivery notes, or indeed any custom paperwork that you may have created using the Easify Paperwork Designer and have assigned to the order print menu. Another useful feature of the DMS is its ability to save the same document multiple times, but with a different file name each time. Let me give you an example of this. Let's say we've raised a quotation for a customer. In this case, they want to buy a new television. To send the quote to the customer, we click on the print menu, select quote, and then to save the quotation to the DMS folder as a PDF, I'll click on the Save Quote to Documents folder as PDF button. Click OK, close the window, and in the Documents tab, you can see that we have quote 100021.pdf. And if we open up the quote, you can see that this is the quotation for the 28-inch television. Now let's say we send the quote to the customer, and the customer gets back to us and says, that's great, but I think I'd like to go for a bigger television. Can you do me another quote with a larger screen television? That's no problem. We go back to the Products tab. We go and find our televisions. Select the 37-inch television, drag that to the quotes, then we'll remove the old smaller item, click Apply, and we'd then send the revised quote. So we click Print, Quote. You can see we have the same quotation number. We'll click the Save Quote to Documents folder as PDF. Click OK, close the window. And now in the Documents tab, you can see we have two quotes. We have the original quote, which is quote 10021.pdf, the 28-inch television. But because the quote already exists, when we saved it the second time, the DMS has automatically created a copy of the quote. And it's done that by calling it quote 10021 brackets 1.pdf. If we open up this second quote, you can see it's for the larger TV screen. We then send the customer a copy of the revised quotation, and they may get back to us and say, that's looking great, um, can you add on a HDMI cable for me? No problem, we go to our cables section in the products window, select TV cables, and we'll add a suitable cables to the quote, click apply to save our changes, and again, print quote, and here we have the second revision of the quote with the larger TV and the HDMI lead. Again, we'll click on Save Quote to Documents folder as PDF. Click OK, close the window. And now you can see we have three quotations. We have the original quotation. We have quote 100021 brackets 1 and quote 100021 brackets 2, which is the second revision. And if we look at the second revision, you see this is the latest state of the quotation. So we, again, we can send this quote to the customer. They may then go back to us and say, uh, actually, I'd like to go with the original quote, please. Well, that's no problem because although we've modified the quotation we've been working on to reflect various revisions of the quote, in the Documents tab, we still have a copy of the original quote, which is just for our stock code 10050, the 28-inch television. So with this, we can then easily go back to our Products tab. We can remove the items from the quote that are no longer needed and simply add in the original item, 10050, enter, and there we are, back to the original quote. So as you can see, saving documents to the DMS is a really great way of automatically keeping a history of all the revisions of a quote or any other item of paperwork that you may have been working on. 
OK, so far we have looked at copying email attachments and emails to the DMS, along with invoices and quotes that have been created in Easify. Now I mentioned before that the DMS simply stores documents in a location on your hard disk, so this means that you can save documents to the DMS from any application. In this example I'm going to show you how you can save a Microsoft Word document to the DMS from within Microsoft Word. To begin with, we have an open order for our customer, who in this scenario would like us to write them an insurance letter. Let's say they have a damaged electrical appliance that they would like to claim for on their home insurance, and we are going to write a letter to their insurance company confirming that the appliance is beyond economical repair. Because we're using Easify, it makes perfect sense to store the letter in the DMS. So we go to their open order and click the Documents tab. Now you'll notice here it says this order does not have a folder yet. Drag documents here to automatically create a folder or click the Create Folder button on the toolbar above to manually create a folder. Now we said before that the DMS always associates files and documents with either an order, a customer, a purchase or a supplier. Now rather than have Easify automatically create a folder whenever we create an order, a customer, a purchase or a supplier. If we did that, you'd end up with hundreds of empty folders all over your system. So rather than that, the Easify DMS actually creates folders for things on the fly or on demand. So for example, if you drag something into the DMS, the DMS will automatically create a folder when you drag the item in there. Or if you select the print menu and print quotes, invoice, job card, etc., the DMS will handle creating the folder for you. OK, I'm going to show you two ways that you can create a new Word documents using the Easify DMS. The first one involves automatically creating our folder, and the second one will create the folder manually. So I'll show you the first method. And what we do here is go to the desktop, right-click the desktop, and we'll select New Microsoft Word document. And we'll give it a meaningful name. So here we'll call it Insurance Letter. What we do then, before we edit the letter, is we drag it into the Easify DMS. You can see the letters moved from the desktop into the DMS folder, and in the background the folder has automatically been created for us. You can then open the letter by double-clicking it. It'll open in Word. Write your letter, and here's some text I prepared earlier. And then click on Save, and close the document. Now it's worth noticing as well that when I created the document on the desktop, I dragged it into the Easify DMS before I edited it in Microsoft Word. Now it doesn't really matter, you could edit the document in Word and then drag it into the DMS. But by dragging the new document into the DMS and then opening it in Word, it means that when you then reopen Microsoft Word, the most recently used file list will point to the document in the DMS folder and not to where it used to be on the desktop. It's a subtle difference, but one worth noting. OK, the second method of creating a Word document in the DMS is to actually create the document in Word itself. So in this scenario, we don't have a folder, and we're going to create one manually. Now, this is really simple. Simply hover over the Create Folder for this Order button, click it, and a dialog pops up telling you Order Folder Created. Now, don't worry about all the details of the pathing and all this. We'll talk about this a little bit later on. So for now, just accept that, click OK, and know that you now have a folder for this order in the DMS system. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to Microsoft Word. So we'll launch Word, create a new blank document, and we'll type our letter. This time we're going to save the letter from Word, and it's going to ask us where we want to save it. Because it's a new document, it's going to need to know where we want to save it to. So we're going to select Browse. Now at this point, we don't know which folder to save the document into. So what we do is we hop back to Easify. On the Documents tab, we have a button called Copy Document Folder Path to Clipboard. Simply click this button, and what this will do is copy the path to your DMS folder that you just created. It'll copy that path into the clipboard. So you click this button, go back to Word, and in the Path location at the top, press Control v for Paste, and click the arrow. This then sets the path to our DMS folder that we just created. Again, don't worry about the details of the path, we'll look at that later. For the file name, we'll simply call it Insurance Letter. 
and we click save. Close the document and there you can see the insurance letter is saved in the DMS. We double click it and open it and you'll see the letter we just created. OK, so far we've mostly focused on saving documents related to orders, quotes and work in progress. Bear in mind that the DMS also exists for customers, purchases and suppliers. So for example, in the customers window, if you look in the info pane at the bottom, and if you don't have this showing, just click on the show hide customer info pane button on the toolbar. In the info pane, you can click on the documents tab and then select a customer. And here you can instantly see all of that customer's documents. Now, where this differs to opening an order and looking at the documents tab is that when you open an order and click on the documents tab, all you see are the documents related to that specific order. This view is really good because if you select the customer, this documents view will show you all of the documents for all of the customer's orders. So this is a great way of basically seeing from a great height all of the customer's orders all in one single place. This is useful if, for example, you want to look at a letter that you sent to a customer some time ago, rather than having to find the customer's individual order, just navigate to the customer record, click on them, go to the documents tab, and you'll be able to see every document related to that customer. You can also drag documents directly to the customer record here. So for example, I could drag a text document from the desktop, drag it to the DMS, and it appears here. But bear in mind that if you drag or apply documents directly to at the customer level, the documents can only be accessed via the customer record because they're not associated with a specific order. The document is then associated with the customer itself. So to find this text document, you'd have to actually come back to the customer uh, click on them and then you'll be able to see their document. So we mentioned as well that you can use the DMS with purchases. So if you open the purchases window, we'll open a purchase. You'll notice we have a documents tab as we do with a, an order. And it works in exactly the same way. So from the documents tab in a purchase, you can create a folder for a purchase. And you can continue to add documents to that folder as you would for anything else. In the same way, you can drag items from the desktop into the purchases DMS, or you could print a purchase order and save that as a PDF to the DMS. We also mentioned suppliers. So if we open the suppliers window, again, the supplier has an info pane. And again, if this isn't visible, just simply click the show hide supplier info pane button on the toolbar, go to the documents tab. And again, you can select a supplier and you can see any documents related to that supplier. Now, with orders, when we drag a document to the DMS on an order, that ends up associated with a customer. When we drag or we copy a document to the DMS via a purchase, that's associated with the supplier that you're buying the items from. As with the customer's window, anything that you drag directly into a supplier view in the DMS will be associated with the supplier and not with a specific purchase. But again, as with customers, whereas you can view the documents for a customer and see all the documents related to that customer's orders, if you come to the supplier's view, you can click on the supplier and see documents related to all of the purchases that you've made with that supplier. So now that I've given you an overview of what the Easyfy DMS can do, we'll just take a few moments to have a walk around of the documents tab. The first button on the Documents tab toolbar is the Create Folder for this order button. As we've already seen, if you have an item in Easify, such as an order, a customer, a purchase, or a supplier that doesn't currently have a DMS folder, clicking this button will create the DMS folder for them. The next button, Add Documents to Folder. With this button, you can actually browse for documents that you want to add to the DMS. So you click the button, browse to the file so in this case i'm on my desktop i'll select text document click open and text document is added to the dms and notice here as well that text document still exists on my desktop you can see it here when you add a file by using this button it actually copies it to the dms rather than moving it if you drag a file to the dms it will actually be moved and if you click on the add documents to folder button it'll be copied there is an exception to this as well on the subject of dragging. If I delete this file now, if I drag a file from the desktop to the DMS, you can see on the cursor 
that it's just got a little grey sort of square underneath the arrow. That means that if I let go now, that's going to move the text document from the desktop to the DMS. If I now press the control button and hold it, and so I'm holding down the control button, you can see we have a plus sign that's appeared on the mouse cursor. Now, holding the control key whilst dragging and dropping will actually copy, drag copy to the DMS, whereas if I delete that again, if I just drag and let go, it'll move it to the DMS. So that's a handy little shortcut. The next button along, open documents folder in Windows. Now, the, as we keep saying, the DMS just saves files on your hard disk or on the hard disk of a computer on your network. So you can just view this folder in Windows. So the DMS folder we have here, we click open documents folder in Windows. Just open as any other window in Windows. And you can see to the left, you can see where that folder actually is on this computer. Moving along, the next button, copy document folder path to clipboard. Again, we looked at this when we were working with Microsoft Word. When you click this button, the actual path to this folder is copied to the Windows clipboard. So for example, you could, you could click the button, copy the path to this folder, open up Windows Explorer, paste into the address bar, which pastes in the path of our DMS folder, click on the arrow, and that takes you to the DMS folder. And last on the toolbar menu here, we have delete selected documents. Quite simply, click on that, click delete, and that will delete the selected file. There's also a right click context menu. So if you right click on a document, you get this little menu pops up. First item is open, so obviously open opens the document. Right click again, you get the option to rename the document. Or delete, which as we just said, deletes the document. Open containing folder, this basically mimics the functionality of the same button on the toolbar, as with copy folder path to clipboard. Finally, we have an option here for copy and paste. So here you can select a document, right click and copy, and then say right click your desktop and paste, and then you can paste a copy of the document that you just selected to wherever. Also within the view itself, it works much like Windows. You can click on the headers to sort by that thing. So clicking on the name header sorts by name, clicking on date modified sorts by date modified, etc. Okay, now that we've talked about what the DMS can do, let's have a look at how to configure the Easify DMS. By default, the DMS is not enabled. To enable the DMS, go to the Tools menu, select Options, and then click on General. In the Document Management tab, tick the Enable Document Management tick box, and then enter the path of the folder in which you would like the DMS to store your files. Now I've mentioned a number of times during this video that the DMS stores all of your files and documents to a folder on the hard disk of your computer. Or if you're running Easify on a network, the documents will be stored in a folder on the hard disk of a computer on your network. The path that you enter here will depend largely on how you use Easify. If you use Easify on a single computer, then the path that you specify here can be a local path. In other words, you'll be saving any documents that are sent to the DMS to the hard disk on your computer. Here you can see that for this training video, I've set the path to be C slash DMS. This simply means that any files or documents that are sent to the DMS are saved in my C drive in a folder named DMS. Now I don't recommend that you save your documents to a folder in the root of your C drive. If you're using Easify on a single computer, you would be better off specifying a folder in your documents folder. There are a couple of reasons for this. Firstly, your documents folder will have been created with the correct permissions for you to access it. And secondly, it is safer from a disaster recovery point of view to have all of your documents in the documents folder. Your documents folder is more likely to be included in a Windows backup and having all of your documents in one location means that if you do need to backup and restore your PC, you don't have to worry that your documents are scattered into all kinds of non-standard locations. To specify that the DMS should save your files to your documents folder, the easiest way is to click the Browse button and select your Documents folder. 
Now I recommend that rather than just using the documents folder as the root for your DMS folders, that you create a new folder within the documents folder and name it DMS. Click the make new folder button and name the new folder DMS. Click OK and you can see that the path has been set to the DMS folder within my documents folder. OK, for the purposes of this training video, I'm going to be going against convention and storing the DMS documents in a folder in my C drive, so I'll just set everything back to use that path. Before we go on to discuss the way the DMS actually stores files on your computer, we'll take a moment to talk about the option to enable Microsoft Outlook integration. As it says here, enable this option to allow quotes and invoices to be created as PDF and attached to an Outlook email at the click of a button. If you enable a document management system and if you use Microsoft Outlook for your emails, I strongly recommend you enable this option because this is what allows you, when you raise an invoice for a customer, to click the button that lets you automatically create a PDF copy of the invoice and save it to the DMS and automatically attach it to an email in Outlook where you just need to basically fill in the rest of the details, type a message body and click the send button. So definitely a good time saver if you can enable that one. Okay, so let's take a look at how the DMS actually stores your files and documents. As you can see, I've set the path where the documents will be stored to C slash DMS. Now, if I go to that in Windows Explorer, so I go to Windows Explorer and I go to this PC into the C drive, you see we have a folder called DMS. Inside that folder are two other folders, one called Customers and one called Suppliers. Now, these folders get automatically created by the DMS when you start to use it. Initially, the DMS folder will be empty, but as you start to drag files and documents to orders or to purchases, then the folders in here will be created on the fly as you go. Now, typically, there's two folders in here, one called Customers and one called Suppliers. The customers folder contains all the DMS items that are related to customers and orders, or quotations in fact. And the suppliers folder contains all of the DMS items that are related to suppliers and purchases. So if we take a look inside the customers folder, you can see it contains other folders. The folders are created for each customer in Easify, but they're only created as they're needed. So we don't create a folder for a customer just in case, we only create the folder when you actually drop something into the DMS system. Now the folder names follow a pattern and the folder name is basically created as the company name with a hyphen, then the customer name with a hyphen, and then the customer number. In the case of a customer with no company, the company name is just left off. Within each customer folder, there will be either files or other folders. The folders that you find in here are created one per order. So here you can see a folder, its name is 10020, which is the order number, with a hyphen, and then it's a delivery installation of new cooker. Now this is actually the order comments from order 10020. So if we go back to that order and find it, so we'll open up orders and quotes, 10020, and you can see the comments are delivery and installation of new cooker. You might notice that the description here doesn't have the ampersand, uh, that's because we, it's removed because it's not a valid character for a file name. In this folder, you'll find all of the files that were dragged into this order. So if you look inside the folder here, just in plain old Windows Explorer, you'll see exactly the same things as we have in the DMS. As we keep saying, the DMS just simply stores things on your hard disk. Uh, the great thing with the DMS, though, is it handles organizing all of your files into a nice browsable hierarchy automatically. And we can prove the point here. If I go into the folder in Windows Explorer, I can right click and I can say new text document. Now, if you look in the documents tab of Easify as I do this, you'll see the text documents appeared. So we've got new text document two. That's, it's called new text document two because there's already one called new text document in there. So new text document two, I've created it in Windows, but it appears in the DMS. If I open it in the DMS and edit it, And we'll save that. Then we go back to Windows. If I then open the text document in Windows, you can see it's the same file. You may notice as well that if we go into the actual customer folder, so we're in DMS, Customers, 
Mr. Richard Moore-503, you see we have a text document just sitting actually in the customer folder. It's not, act it's not in a folder that represents an order. The reason for this is this will be a file that we actually dragged into the DMS from the customer's window. So if we go to the customer's window and we select this customer, go to the documents tab. If you remember, we said that when you're in the customer's window, the documents in the DMS are all documents for all orders related to that customer. But also if you add documents directly to the customer's DMS window here, they're not associated with an order, they're actually associated directly with the customer. So as a result, when you look in Windows Explorer, you'll see that any files you've dragged into the customer itself, rather than into an order of theirs, will show as a text document. And when I say dragging, uh, dragging you can also obviously create an invoice and save it to PDF, or there are other ways of getting files into the DMS. So I don't just think dragging is the only way. Similarly, if we go back up to the DMS folder, and we have the suppliers folder, when we open the suppliers folder, you'll see a folder for each supplier that has DMS documents stored for it. And if we go into the folder for a supplier, you see here we have a folder which represents a purchase. In this case, the folder name is 500001 hyphen, followed by the comments for the purchase, stock order for job 100001. And again, we can show you that if we go back to purchases and we go to purchase five four zeros and a one you can see here that we have the purchase with stock order for job one zero 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 one and in windows we have a folder of that name we go to the documents tab you can see we have a picture that's been saved to the dms for that purchase and if we go into the folder you can see that picture the ubiquitous cooker picture so this works in really exactly the same way as it does for customers, except that instead of orders, we're dealing with purchases, and instead of customers, we're dealing with suppliers. So the same again, you can go back up, you can go into the suppliers folder and look in the folder for a supplier. And here you can see as a supplier, they don't have any purchase folders in the DMS, but they do have a couple of documents that have been associated with a supplier. So the same again, you can go into the suppliers, go to the documents tab, and anything that you enter into the DMS here gets associated at the supplier level and not in a subfolder that represents the related purchase. The great thing about having all of your files in Windows like this is that you don't have to use Easify to navigate them. You can navigate them just using Windows Explorer, which means you're free to hop into the DMS folder and you could search for all pictures. You could search for star.jpg and Windows will just show you all of the JPEGs you have in your entire DMS system. Equally, you could search for a docx file, dot docx, and you can narrow it down to all of the Word documents that you have stored in your DMS system. So it's very powerful. You can use traditional means to get at all of your files and documents. You don't just have to get at them through Easify. What Easify does, though, is it makes it really, really easy to put everything in the right place. You don't have to go looking for folders or creating folders. The Easify DMS does all that for you. It's worth saying as well that another really great side effect of the fact that Easify just uses the plain old file system in Windows is that it's great in a disaster recovery scenario. Other DMSs might store your files and documents in the database, which, okay, that has its advantages. But the problem is, is that if you have a problem with a computer and you can no longer access your database for whatever reason, you can no longer access any of your files and documents either. By storing all of your files and documents just in a normal file system, it means that when you back up your computer, you're just backing up normal files. And if you come in and find your computer's burnt to a crisp, you can quite simply take your backup, restore the files, and you're straight back up and working on your files straight away. You don't have to then wait until you get the database and all the other things resurrected. So it's a very, very simple and robust way of storing all of your documents and files. So far in this video, we've been discussing using Easify on a single computer and all of the things that we've saved to the DMS have been saved just to our local hard disk. And I mentioned before that you can also store your files on the DMS into a network location if you're using Easify on a network with more than one computer. And this is a pretty typical installation. You know, people will typically have, say, four or five Easify PCs throughout their business and they will want all of their document management to be centralized into a single location. Now, 
We can't go into too much depth in discussing networking on PCs, that's beyond the scope of the video. But what I will do is I'll just show you a few things to do with setting up the Easyfy DMS in a networked environment. So at the moment we're set to store all our documents into C slash DMS. That's okay as long as I'm on this PC, but that won't work for anybody else. If somebody else uses that path on their networked Easyfy PC, they'll just be storing DMS files into their PC and I won't be able to see them. So what you can do here is rather than specifying a local path, you can specify a network path. Now on this PC, if we go into Windows Explorer, and we go into this PC, as you can see, I have a W drive, which is a mapped drive to a network location. So to use this, all I need to do is to go into the Easyfy options, click on the Browse for Path button. I can go into my PC, select the W drive, click OK. And now the path where documents will be stored is W. I'll apply that. So what this now means is that whenever I drag something to the DMS, it's not just going onto my local hard disk, it's going to a network location, which is a shared location. This means everybody using Easyfy will be storing their documents into that shared central location. You can also specify what's known as a UNC path here. If you're not familiar with UNC paths, then it doesn't matter. Uh, we don't recommend you use them. But if you are familiar with UNC paths, you could put in a path such as double backslash my server slash DMS. This will work in the DMS, but we don't recommend it. For the best compatibility and the best results, we recommend that you always use a mapped network drive to talk to a network share. So you'd be better off actually in Windows mapping a network drive to this location and then specify the drive name in here. Uh, something else that's worth being aware of as well is that you can use the Easyfy DMS in conjunction with cloud-based storage applications such as Dropbox or Microsoft OneDrive. Uh, configuring that is, again, beyond the scope of this video. So we'll produce another video in the future that covers specifically setting up the DMS for use with cloud sharing applications such as Dropbox. But basically with an application such as Dropbox, you could have your mapped drive letter actually pointing to a Dropbox folder, which means that whenever somebody copies something to the DMS, not only does it get copied to your local shared location, but it can also be synchronized with a Dropbox folder, so that which makes the files available from anywhere. So if you're using the remote features of Easyfy, let's say you've got an Easyfy user subscription and you use Easyfy over the internet on the road or from home. If you use the Easyfy DMS in conjunction with a cloud storage application, then that allows you to access all of your documents that are in the DMS as well from a remote location. Well, that just about wraps up our discussion about the Easyfy DMS. I hope you found this tutorial video interesting and useful, and that the Easyfy DMS proves to be a valuable tool within your business. Please feel free to comment below if you have any questions about the Easyfy DMS, and if you found this video useful, please remember to give it a quick like below, and feel free to share it with your friends and colleagues. Easyfy Small Business Software is shaped by you, so as always, if there's a feature that you'd like to see implemented in Easyfy, or if there is something you would like done differently, we're always happy to hear from you. You can email us at support at easify.co.uk, message us via Facebook at facebook.com forward slash easify, or as always, leave us a comment below. Until next time, thank you for watching.